The Prime Minister is backing the Broadcasting Minister, Claire Curran, in the wake of the resignation of high-profile RNZ News Executive Carol Hirschfeld. The shock resignation follows a meeting with the Minister that took place at a Wellington cafe last December. Ms Curran has been under political pressure over the incident, including for initially failing to declare the meeting in response to parliamentary questions. Here's our political editor, Jane Patterson. This has all occurred in the context of Labour's policy to create RNZ Plus with $38 million of extra money for public broadcasting to be overseen by the Public Media Funding Commission. Questions around the meeting between Carol Hirschfeld and the Minister first arose in Parliament in February when Nationals' Melissa Lee asked Claire Curran why she had not disclosed it in her answer to a written question. Ms Lee asked the Minister how she could stand by her original response. When she failed to mention her breakfast meeting with RNZ Head of Content Carol Hirschfeld on December 2. Oh. Mr Speaker, uh, I have a range of discussions, um, informal or otherwise, with many, with, with many um, people in, uh, in a range of, uh, of portfolio areas. RNZ CEO Paul Thompson says Ms Hirschfeld had repeatedly assured him the meeting was coincidental and that she and the Minister had talked after bumping into each other in a Wellington cafe. However, he says on Sunday she told him the meeting had in fact been scheduled. He says while this is not a great day, he does not believe this will damage RNZ's credibility. Our journalism and our credibility and our editorial independence are absolutely rock solid and I think the way we're handling this shows that and we now go on and keep doing our job. Nationals leader Simon Bridges says it appears to be a very serious, even unprecedented matter. We need to get to the bottom of what's happened here, but it seems very serious if she has resigned, Carol Hirschfeld has resigned, and we need to understand what that means in relation to Claire Curran. Ms Curran told reporters at Parliament she instigated the meeting to have a high-level discussion about the state of New Zealand media, and it was diaried five days beforehand. She says she now regrets the meeting. It was not a secret meeting. It was held in one of the busiest cafes in Wellington. It was, as I believed at the time, an informal catch-up meeting um, in hindsight. Um, and now that I understand that RNZ has clear policies around meeting with ministers, that I wasn't aware of at the time, I would not have that meeting again. Paul Thompson and RNZ Chair Richard Griffin appeared before a select committee on the 1st of March where they were grilled about the meeting. They told MPs they backed Carol Hirschfeld and her assertions it was a chance meeting. The select committee met again on the 22nd of March to consider the draft report from that appearance. Ms Curran says her office got in touch with RNZ twice during March. On the 1st of March and the 22nd of March, my office contacted RNZ to raise the issue of the inconsistency between Ms Hirschfeld's account um, of how the meeting came about and my own. So was that after the select committee hearing in yes. which Paul Thompson and Richard Griffin yes. effectively and, misled and, the yeah, committee? And it then became a matter for RNZ to deal with. Mr Thompson says he questioned Ms Hirschfeld again after the first contact from the Minister's office, was assured again it was a chance meeting and that was relayed back to Claire Curran's office. National Simon Bridges questioned the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern about the actions of her Minister in Parliament. Does she accept that the meeting was clearly more than informal and coincidental? But Mr Speaker, um, Minister Curran has never claimed it was coincidental. She's acknowledged that it was in her diary. Um, she did correct uh, an original written question to make sure uh, that it was correctly documented. Uh, and so from her perspective, uh, that has always been the case. It was always scheduled and therefore not coincidental. Richard Griffin says he's been in contact with the chairman of the select committee about correcting the public record. Carol Hirschfeld has not responded to requests for comment. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Jane Patterson.